Okay, so how did we get this string of proteins? So let's go back and remember, we need to use this structure. So let's make this just a little bit smaller. And you can see that mRNA, mRNA is what we're gonna put into this codon chart. And that mRNA is going to be our um, uh, guide to determine what amino acids are being called for by each triplet of mRNA, which is called a codon. So remember our move in class. So that's what we're gonna do. We take a look at the mRNA here, AUG. Then we go find the first base, which is right here. That's this layer. And then where this row um, connects with the column. So U is the first column. So where this column and this row overlap is going to be right in here. And then the last letter is G. So we go not to the first one, not to the second, not to the third. We go to the fourth layer in that box. We know that it's the third base, it's the G base, is all the way uh, down here at the fourth level. So that says start codon, which is methionine. So we write in MET. We're gonna circle it because little amino acids are small, um, sometimes circular and we're going to then connect it to the next one. The next one is uh, CGG, so CGG. So let's go look, CG, so somewhere in here. And the last letter is G, so CGG is arginine. So we write in ARG, then go CUA, CUA is the third one. That's leucine, so we type in or write in LEU. Do the same thing and you'll find serine, then valine, then alanine, arginine another time, and then finally the UAA, UAA is a stop codon. So that doesn't bring any amino acids. That just says stop what you're doing. The ribosome will come apart, the tRNA and the protein will all come apart, and then the protein will be able to be used.